Here is what Dr. Falstaff tells to a reader. V. Alexander Stephan, a dear friend of mine, had agreed to assist me in the writing of the trilogy. The first book is entitled Defendron, The Partic Love Time. The second book is Dr. Falstaff vs. Lucifer in the Fight for Immortality of the Human Race. The third book is Death of Lucifer, The Grace of the Atlantis Race. I always wondered why he never wrote a book of his own. Probably because he knows way too much to be a writer. He even composed the song of Dr. Falstaff, the anthem of immortality. I like the tune. He walked with me day after day. Along the ocean shore in Rebelgrad, the capital of the state of America, the young estate of the United States of America, listening to my story. Our long walks were quite the agony for him. I could have easily imagined him, a truly hedonistic man, in a more favorable environment, drinking in some bar, possibly with a few beautiful women. At one point I thought he would give up on me. That scared me I did some mischievous things to him, just to keep him on the course. I slightly altered his state of mind so that he could more easily absorb the subtleties of my immortal mind. I had not told him that right away. If I had, knowing him, he would have given up on me in a second. I told him about the beauty of his altered mind, after the book had been completed. I have strictly forbidden him from inserting any of his opinions into the book. He had lots of them. Sometimes, he would discuss issues with me with that mortal stubbornness, which now, as an immortal human of the Code 13, I have come to resent. He even started to advise me don't say this, and don't say that. That really annoyed me. It is a sad predicament of the mortal human race, that so many important life stories are forgotten forever due to the fear of telling them to the fellow men. As an immortal human of the Code 13, I have the access through the Quelp Code to all those forgotten life stories. The trilogy is written exactly the way I have wanted it to be. Once the book had been completed, V. Alexander Stephan told me that while he was writing the trilogy, he felt as if the sublime flow of the ephemeron, life, fluid was flowing through his veins, dragging him toward the life beyond life, as he came to refer to the human immortality. He told me that he would never choose immortality over his mortality. On one occasion he said to me, Fick, as you have requested. I did not put any imprint of mine in the trilogy, but the trilogy put the imprint in my heart. I will never be the same again. Dr. Fostep, in particular, is presented in three books. Each book contains six parts accompanied with the corresponding argument. There are a total of 137 chapters, reflecting the importance of the number 137 and the number 11 derived from it, in physics, in the Orpheus Pythagoras mysticism of the harmony of the spheres, and in Kabbalah. Number mysticism. Probably the best way to read the book is first to get acquainted with the content as a whole, by reading all 18 arguments. The Fostep Trilogy is my symbolic salute to the upcoming celestial age of Aquarius as seen from the planet Earth which starts approximately at 2,000 years after Christ and ends around 4,000 years after Christ. Salute to the celestial age of Aquarius.